Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, Moe Store actually sent me a blind box today and I'm going to actually be opening it up to see what it is. And what it is is that um, if you go to their website, you get to actually uh, buy what's called a blind box build. And so that you get a random model, you don't know what's actually going to be in there. So if we open this up, you know, we have this little uh, box here and I don't know which model this is going to be because it is a blind box. And they also sent me a USB uh, flash drive in here, which was kind of nice. Uh, so it's kind of a little gift that they sent. And I believe this is just like a two gigabyte uh, flash drive, but it's actually very useful to have because I keep running out of these where I actually keep losing them. So it's pretty nice of them to send me this. So opening this up, um, I actually don't know which model this is. And when you go on their website, you can actually go to the 3D metal puzzle. And then there's also a section for blind box. And they have different series that you can choose from. And I don't know which one they sent me. So this is actually a complete surprise for me. And so we're going to open this up. I need to kind of get rid of the sticker uh, using my Zacto knife. And then we'll open it up and see what's in here. So the first thing we see that there's a sticker and I believe this is what the model is actually going to be of and it's of the alloy tank and it actually looks really cool and so I'm going to be really glad if this is the actual model that I am building. It comes with a little screwdriver so it actually comes with all the parts that you need to build which is nice and inside here that's kind of like hidden or stuck in there is um, actually these wrenches and also the manual. But this branch actually comes with this uh, magnet that you can see here and which is actually really nice because you can use the magnet and you can use that magnet with the um, the actual canister and you can actually put it on a metallic wall you know if you have a shop wall and so it's kind of nice to put just extra parts in there and so you can actually use it as a collection so this manual actually just kind of shows you what the product is going to be but also shows you how you can use that canister with the magnet and they also have these extra parts that you can use and they show you how to build it if you want to use the canister for a cup holder or if you want to put it on the wall um, to kind of hold some stuff in it and so if you look at the manual um, it's actually just two sheets and so there's not a lot of instructions on it um, so we kind of have to just look at it uh, one by one and just hopefully be able to build all of this just off of these kind of simple instructions and so without further ado i think we will get started So if you look, we have all the parts here. I kind of pushed it off to the side so that I have a working area. Uh, there's a lot of parts here, a lot of long screws, um, M2, uh, actually M screw um, bolts actually. And so we're gonna take a look now to see what the first step is. And so I'm just gonna have this kind of in front of me here so I can take a look. Um, so I'm gonna start putting the, the, getting the parts out so that I can start building this. So this one screw is actually really hard to put in and this is actually a, kind of a wrench that they provided for the last kit which was the mechanical end so I'm actually going to use this to kind of just help keep it in place um, just because it's kind of hard I don't know why but this screw seems to be a little bit smaller that's kind of hard to um, screw it in hopefully the other screws won't have this problem So the other um, bolt actually worked fine. It's just the first screw here um, that just wouldn't really budge in. I think the M2 uh, bolt was a little bit small, but this is what the first piece looks like. I'm gonna do two of these pieces. So we have two of these pieces now. 
and then we'll continue on to the next part. So as I'm looking, um, this is calling out for G38, but it doesn't show you which one it is. Um, the only ones that are in the bag are G18 and 40, but then um, there's a few other in just that kind of random bag of parts, and there's these three that look very similar. Um, and I kind of looked ahead in the manual, and I deduced that these are the G33 because we need two of these. And then there's this one hasn't been called out, so my guess is this is the G38. So in case you have the same model kit, this is kind of how you would do this. Um, so you have to just look for that part here. It's a little bit longer, and I'm guessing it's 38 because it is. Let me see. Nope. Okay, I thought it had to do with the 33, uh, 30 millimeters. Um, but it is a little bit longer one here. And now that we have all of our parts, we're going to start putting it together. Um, this is going to be kind of tricky because I'm going to have to do it in order. So let's get started. Looks like this is the base of the uh, the alo tank, which is pretty cool, um, and we'll see how this comes along. skip um, in this video and I'll because I've already done one it's the same exact step but we need two and so here we have two of these parts here um, actually it's oriented this way and these are two identical parts
here's what it looks like so far. It kind of reminds me almost of the game Metal Slug, how they have the tanks in those games. It kind of reminds me of the, one of those tanks. Um, so we'll see kind of how this finishes off. Okay, and I believe this is the cannon uh, portion of the tank. Now we are going to attach the cannon to the base of the tank. And here's how it looks so far. It looks really cool. Um, like I said, it really reminds me of the Metal Slug uh, tank that you can actually ride in the game. And I think there's only two more parts to work on and we should be done with the model. Here's the final product here and I think it looks really cool it actually looks really cute uh, let me just do the overhead only so you can see the full there's actually a lot of parts that are still left over which is actually surprising um, and some of the parts I didn't actually end up using at all which is even uh, stranger so I am kind of wondering where all these parts are supposed to go or were supposed to go um, but it looks really cool. 
And I'm actually really glad I worked on this. And I really do thank uh, Moyu Store for sending me this surprise box. Um, I think this is just a really cool little toy almost. And it's really it was really fun to put together. Uh, it wasn't too complicated. Uh, it was a little bit hard to put things in the middle like that, like when you saw it earlier. Um, but for the most part, it was manageable. So I'm actually very glad about how it turned out. Um, I might want to mess around with it just a little bit because it um, looks like this, this, these two look like they're kind of uneven. And I have no clue why. So I think it just has to do with... There we go. Um, yeah, so this is it. And you can see that the parts move. Like the tank can actually aim up and down a little bit. Not too much. Um, I don't want to mess around with it too much because... Um, I'm afraid that the screw might get unloose, so I'm actually tighten it a little bit more just to be safe. And the wheels move. So it looks really cool. And it's a really small compact size, so you can see on the palm of my hand here how big it is. And I hope to do more of these. Uh, so uh, hopefully Moyu will send me more of these stuff because these are really cool and I really do enjoy uh, building these. So um, hopefully look out for those videos if, they, if it does come. This is actually really cool. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but you know, um, I can kind of think about what I'll do with the magnet. Oh, this thing. Okay, cool. And actually, I can put the leftover parts in here so that I don't lose them, so that I can actually uh, start creating a collection of these stuff. Because maybe if I have enough of these parts, I can create my own little just thing, um, kind of just out of my imagination and what parts I have. Um, so other than that, it is done. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that like button. And also uh, consider hitting the subscribe button if you want to see more of these type of videos. Um, I try to do a variety of different types of build videos, so you know, um, every subscription actually helps. So um, other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.